Your certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. All right, let's talk weather. The severe weather outlook for today. I want to start with this because this is going to be the big weather story today. Now, this comes later today, but make sure that you're prepared for this and start thinking about uh, how you and your family will prepare for the severe storms that will likely move into the area this evening. Anywhere from northern Bear County into the hill country is where we could see the more severe storms. Primary hazards being damaging winds along with large hail. Can't rule out some flash flooding and an isolated tornado. Now down towards the south, that's a level two risk. That is where we're seeing that slight risk. It's not very common. We see an enhanced risk here, so when we do, we have to uh, talk about that. Timing of the severe storms. In the western zone between 6 and 10 p.m. In the hill country between 7 and 11. In San Antonio and the central zone up and down the I-35 corridor between 8 o'clock this evening and midnight. The eastern zone between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. I'll track the storms for you. We'll check out future tracker coming up. Heat alerts, hot today but not quite as hot. This is where it will be the hottest with the heat and the humidity. Heat uh, index temperatures in those spots could climb over 100. 110 heat advisory in effect between noon and 7 p.m. in those areas. 96 here in San Antonio this afternoon. Yesterday we ended up at 99 degrees. Outlying spots in Bear County though did hit 100 degrees down towards the south and along the Rio Grande. High temperatures at 100 degrees or greater. This is how hot it'll feel like by 4 o'clock when you combine the heat and the humidity. 104 heat index in San Antonio. Some spots farther south closer to 110 or a little higher. Right now you can sort of make out the haze and fog in San Antonio. Live look outside. Raul B. Rodriguez Law weather camera 79 degrees and mostly cloudy. We're seeing the fog because of the saturated air that's in place and the light winds, uh, but we're seeing the hazy look in the sky because of the smoke that's coming from the fires in Mexico. Feels like it's 83 degrees with the humidity. Here's where the storms are right now up across Dallas and into southern Oklahoma. Looks like this area of rain is actually increasing severe thunderstorms storm warning continues for Dallas. Here's the setup. We have the stationary front in North uh, uh, Texas. That front will continue to push off towards the south. There are severe thunderstorm watches right now in North Texas with the front moving farther south and an upper level short wave coming into the area later today into tonight. That's what's going to trigger the thunderstorms that could be strong to severe. Most of the day is dry, but this afternoon could see a shower or thunderstorm. Then things look to get active as we go into the evening. Looks like a large cluster of storms comes into the area, a large complex of storms, and then it moves off towards the east. Should weaken though as it heads closer to the eastern zone and along the coast. The rest of the week, fairly quiet. I would say the biggest severe weather risk for the remainder of the week will be this evening. This is how much rain we could see across the area. One to two plus inches. This is over the next three days, but most of this will come from the storms tonight. Mostly cloudy and hazy this morning. Temperatures on the warm side, upper 70s to low 80s until mid morning. This afternoon, partly sunny, warm and humid. Forecast high of 96. Isolated rain chance as early as three o'clock this afternoon. Then we'll see that rain chance in increasing across the zones by this evening. Here's your seven day forecast, a 50% storm chance this evening. Keep in mind, Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan will keep you guys updated, of course, through the rest of the afternoon and evening. 20% rain chance tomorrow, 30% tomorrow night, 20% for the rest of the week into the weekend. So ending the month of May with high temperatures in the lower 90s, and we'll kick off the month of June this weekend the same way. Here's the extended forecast for everybody else.